rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20. We're back in secret evermore in the room with the deadly plants. But this time, we came with the lights turned off, so hopefully they're all asleep. It seems like the plants are all asleep. The trick of it was that the light to the storage room and the greenhouse that we're in now were connected. So to have one off meant to have both off. But to have one on meant to have both on. So I had to go back after collecting all that wonderful loot in the storage room and turn the light off so that we could get through this part. And I'm glad it worked out. They're cryoblast projectiles. So many things for our bazooka. I wonder if we'll actually use them. Now back up here into A3. Alright, that way doesn't lead to anything. That way doesn't lead to anything. This way leads to things, dog. You are going to need to open up this path for me. Uh. Toast her down, toast her down. Alright, Dog Dre, you know how we do. We're gonna have to handle this automated security unit. I'll basically just distract it and you shoot it to death. Like we practiced. All this new armor helps out a lot, though. He only hits me 30 instead of, like, 70. If we go down into A4, that appears to be my only real option. Well, I would like to heal before going down into A4. And down we go. What do we find? Hmm. Oh, hey! You! You're Professor Ruffleberg, aren't you? Why, yes. And you're not 20. I've been watching you through the monitors. You're quite the adventurer. You have the same spirit that inspired me to create this world. Of course, that was many years ago. Now, everything is out of whack. And Caltron is on the loose. Caltron? He's the big guy in the tuxedo who showed me the door. Why, yes, Caltron is my automated servant, or at least he was. I constructed Caltron in order to do the household chores. You know, tidy up, greet guests, pay the bills, let the cat out, clean the gutters. And I made him smart so that he could play chess and give me a run for my money. But uh, over the years, Carlton got tired of being a servant. He decided to turn the tables and take over. First, he sabotaged the experiment. That left us all stranded in this world of our imaginations. And then he schemed, and schemed, and schemed, till he finally made his move. We used this machine mind to come to Evermore. And when Carl Tron took over, he used it to threaten the lives of my friends. Well, motherfucker. Carl Tron is an insidious mechanoid. Quite mean indeed. He said that he'd destroy the planet if I didn't make robot clones of my friends. And with these clones leading the lands of Evermore, Carl Tron be in control. But, thanks to you, Carl Tron has been thwarted at every turn. Now, he has retreated to the chamber in the center of Omnitopia. Of course, he's probably hatching enough to relieve the plan as we speak. If we can help you stop that guy once and for all, can you help us get back to Podunk? Yes, by all means. In fact, if Carlton can be controlled, the rest of us will return to Podunk as well. Let's do it. 
Let's go! Hit that button for us, Professor. There's a special item in Evermore that is the key to entering Carlton's chamber. The item is an energy core at the base of the chessboard. If you can retrieve this device, you'll be able to confront Carlton and stop him. I'll give you access from to the core from my control board. I remember this. I thought that we, this was something we were supposed to do long ago. <gasps> it's the cat! Uh oh, Dardry has lasers now. That cat's not going to survive. What? Oh, okay. I thought the cat was going to be chasing him. I was like, what's wrong, Dardry? You'll find a hatch that leads to an escape pod in the next room. You can use the pod to return to Evermore and get the core. Before you go, let me give you a special alchemy formula. If you have meteorite and dry ice, the formula will create a call bead. Well, damn. If you need my help, toss a call bead to the ground and I'll be there. Would you like to save? Yeah. You laid some shit on us, bro. See you later. Uh, Alright, so if I hit that button. Armor sales mode engaged. Input selection. Bye. Uh, oh, I already got spots vest. Brainstorm. Virtual glove. Let's go with the virtual vest. Equip. Oh, oh. Don't mean to equip you, dog, Dre. I want to equip the boy. This new vest. Can I sell my old shit? I'm engaged, so. Yes, I can. But it's pretty worthless. Damn. Pretty worthless indeed. Uh, whoops, I think I sold something that I already. Did I sell Dr. Ace Collar by accident? I think I did. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Alright, they didn't give me that option. Oop. Money exchange, you can exchange any currency for credits. I have a bunch of gold coins. Eight credits for every gold coin? Sure, I want to be able to buy all that stuff. Thank you. Wow. Armor sales mode engaged. I would like to buy. Wish I didn't have to convert all of it. I wish I could just convert some of it. Yep, I'd like to buy those. And I'll hold on to that equipment. Oh, again. Again, I go into the dog gray mode. Hold on to the rest of this stuff to sell so we can get some gold coins back if we need them. And use those gold coins to buy reagents for our spells. So the escape pod's in here. I remember this room. We've used this escape pod before. We got the laser lance. Screw this not laser lance we've been using. What are we, a sucker? Laser lance, laser lance. Alright. Can we go down these red ones? I don't think so. Doesn't seem like it. Escape pod time. Just like back in the first episode. Beginning of the game. Escape pod time. Only this time we get to control this shit. Alright, well, let's not, uh, dig around too much. I think our best bet... Is there a fire up here? Nope, I think our best bet is to land at the castle. Oop. Land the castle. Hey, Tinker. You want to see what a real spaceship looks like, sucker? Where you at? I want to show this shit off to you, man. You sent us up in that death trap and we come back with this awesome piece of machinery. I don't even know how to describe it. But it's way cooler than the death trap you sent us up in. I see you there. My young friend, Nat20. There's talk that an energy core gizmo may be beneath the chessboard. Of course, I'm not one to spread a rumor. Would you like fresh to see ingredients? I would, but as uh, previously stated, I got rid of all my gold coins, so I can't afford any. I could have saved my progress there, but fuck it. Yeah, 
you anything to say to us, uh, Camellia Blue Garden? Oh, you're a brave little boy. Thanks to you, the kingdom is once again filled with happiness and hope. Yeah, you don't really seem to care much about, uh, the outside world anymore. Downstairs. Oh man, Dogray's no longer a robot. He's just, he's just a dog. I can get down with that, but that means we have to change some stuff. There we go. Because he's much better at charging his attacks when they're melee. Squish. I love how this place is just still full of rats. Can't squish him. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back through that damn forest again, aren't I? Ew. Okay, we made it out of the terrible forest. Now we can go to the chessboard. have to climb these stairs. Whoa! Oh man, I forgot about all the undead bats. All the undead bats! Get out of here, undead bats. I do remember they don't have a lot of health. Ah, but they always kick me down the stairs. Good job, Dog Dre. Just go up the stairs. Ignore them. Ah, I missed. But you didn't. With your demonic hit. Okay, up that one, down this one. Ha ha! Okay, this one might be a little more scary. It also might be filled with the same junk as the other. Whoa. We got the energy core now. Where does this lead, though? Who are you? Welcome, my friend. I don't get many visitors down here. That annoying foot knight usually scares them away. Oh. You have the Oracle Bow. I can give you two alchemy formulas that you'll find quite useful. Force Field will fend off against enemies' strongest blows. And you stop to keep your enemies at bay. Wow. Force Field and stop? Halt an enemy's attacks. That could be interesting. I can't even use Reflect. But unfortunately... What was it? Force Field? Looks like force field requires the same sort of thing, so I can't really use that either. But we can use stop, which may or may not come in handy. Would you like to purchase ingredients? Hell yeah! I can buy grease from you. I can buy iron from you too. I want to buy a bunch of grease. I think I might want to change my mind about uh buy iron from other dudes. You're the first person I've ever seen to sell grease. Yeah, I'm gonna change my mind about these spells, bro. I don't want that stop spell anymore. Barrier versus force field protects the hero from the next attack. Versus reflect. Reflects magic. Reflects magic sounds like it will save my ass in a very bad situation. Although, force field also seems like it could do the same. And it crushes stupid. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't have any more money, man. I wish it did. Alright. And now that we have the core, we can now, uh. We can now. Good. We have to go back to the forest again, don't we? That's what we have to do, isn't it? I don't like that forest. It's too big and convoluted. Uh, and we finally made it back. Do you care about what we've gone through? No. You never care. You never care about anything. 
Alright, we're back. We're back, Tinker. We have the stupid core. Ho oh, oh, ho, I see you have one of those energy core who dickies. I hear tell they lose their energy if not used quickly. Of course, I'm no expert, you know. Would you like to purchase ingredients? I would. I have a little bit of money now. And I wish I had more. That's all I'm going to be able to afford. That's okay, though. We'll be fine. Alright, well... Back. Back to space. Now, is it going to take us to where we launched the escape pod, or is it going to take us to our initial landing spot? Escape pod it is. Alright, we got the core. The energized alchemy is sure to help you with your fight with Caltron. Uh, yeah? It does seem... I'm... I, how did I miss even getting that? Energizes target heroes' attacks. It does seem important. Screw you, Atlas. We can never find medallions for you. Move this one instead. The formula requires a crystal and one part iron. When you cast it, your next blow is going to be a big one. Would you like to record your progress? Yes. Also, like to buy equipment, can I? That one was buying armor. Can any of these sell me reagents? Can this maybe sell me reagents somehow? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Alright. Fine. Out into space. In space. Uh. Oh man, my new, my new one doesn't have a throw ability, so I'm just gonna have to go use my body. Well, let's check some of these spells out. I don't have too many casts with me, but we'll try this energy energize out real quick. Whoa! Thank you, Dog Dre. Now we don't need to try out energize anymore. Let's go back down here. Some sort of access code? And there's nothing in here to kill while I'm energized. Oh well. Get out of here. Why, why can't I? What's up? Dog Dre, you too far away? You were too far away, Dog Dre. It's not cool, Dog Dre. Get closer. Alright, let's try to see if I can use energized attacks. Oh, dang. I see what energized does. Energized makes my stamina go up like crazy. That's super helpful. I want a bunch of iron now. It is iron that I need for energize, right? Yep, I got crystals. I just need iron. Lots of it. Alright, well hopefully next time we can get some, because I'm going to have to end the episode here. We roll with Nat 20, I'm Nat 20, and we're going to be playing more Secret of Evermore next time in space. Bye.